Hello and welcome to the reverse engineering software installation video. So a lot of times, you know, we have to install programs on our computer and we are very suspicious about what that program is doing, which files is it going to install, which DLLs it is installing or which registry keys uh, it might be changing or creating. So how does one go about finding all these things, uh, you know, while a program is actually installing? So in this demo, we will look at a software called install watch. Uh, let's actually install it. And basically this piece of software will help us examine the installation process of any program on our Windows system. Uh, the link to this software is available uh, in the same page. So please download it. So once you have installed install watch, uh, we can actually go ahead and run install watch pro. So the first thing one needs to do before he actually starts examining a software install is to create a baseline or a snapshot. What is that? Well, what install watch is going to do is first look at the entire system before the software is installed and take a snapshot of the various files, the registries, uh, you know, the, uh, the places where they're located, the DLLs, etc. So that it has properly cataloged what is currently on your system. Once it has created this baseline or snapshot, it will go ahead and install the new software and then take a new snapshot. Now with these two snapshots, it is possible to find the diff between them and hence figure out what has changed on the local system. So as you notice, uh, the snapshot was created right now. Now let's go ahead and try installing a program. So the program which we'll try to install is Winamp. This is the latest version, the free one, which I've downloaded from the web. Uh, let's click on install and then let's actually go ahead and click and find the program which we want to install right now. So let's go to desktop and select Winamp. And now if you notice install watch has disappeared because it's running in the background and we've gotten the Winamp installer. So let's just quickly go ahead and install Winamp. Right. So basically, while the install is happening, uh, install watch is looking at what all is changing, uh, you know, the various files which are being added, the registry keys, etc. So let's actually briefly wait for the uh, program to install. I'll just pause the video here a little bit. OK, so now the Vinamp installation has completed and let's basically go ahead and click on the finish button so as soon as we do that immediately install watch opens up and it actually says that uh, you know basically the application installation is complete and because we do not require a reboot or anything we don't need to click on wait a while i'm not finished yet so let's go to next and now it is going ahead and scanning to figure out what all has changed after the installation Right, so if you notice, it's already saying 1,500 something odd files added. Now it's looking at the registry keys, uh, you know, the number of new registry entries which have been added. If you notice that's around 3,000 something odd. A uh, lot of entries have been updated, etc. So second is to give a name to this installation. Let's leave it as Vinamp. And now if you notice the process has completed and basically it gives us a summary saying uh, 1578 files were added, two files were deleted, so on and so forth. Now if you want to look at exactly what are these files, let's click here and just simply click on all files. So now we get a list of all the new files which 
Winamp has added, and as expected, most of these are going to be in the Winamp directory, right? And of course, many of these are also in the system directory. A lot of DLLs, etc., have been added. Uh, so basically, you can select by added files. You can select the deleted files, if any, uh, the modified files, right? This is this is pretty important. Uh, then you can actually go and see that what is the INI files or the initialization files which have been added, right? And also finally is the changes to the registry. Now this is pretty important. So in general, I mean, you know, as you notice, there's a lot of information here. In later videos, we'll actually look at how to distill down and probably look at only things which are more interesting. However, from a reverse engineering standpoint, uh, you know, this is a very important exercise in knowing how your system has actually changed. So, well, that's all for this video. Please download, install, watch, and try it on a couple of programs. Uh, a good kind of interesting thing would be maybe to try it on a piece of malware, uh, which you might download or a virus or a worm, and actually see what are the registry keys, etc. it's added. However, do that with caution. Uh, maybe do that in a virtual machine or something more protected, like in a sandbox, so that you do not inflict damage on your own PC. Well, that's all for this video. Please leave a comment behind. I would really appreciate that. And also recently, we've started our own forums where you can ask questions about the videos which we make, uh, publish research papers, look at other people's research papers, and a lot of interesting stuff. So I really urge and encourage you to join our forums. Thank you.